Hey everyone. All right, so this video is gonna be the first of a hopefully long series of videos that kind of just jumps into uh, giving aspiring developers reviews on their portfolio projects. So the reviews are gonna be very focused on making sure that your projects or your portfolio uh, gives employers the information that they're potentially looking for. They're interesting, they solve interesting problems. Uh, but overall, that's kind of the focus, and that's what the reviews are going to be tailored about. So we're going to jump right into the first project uh, by Caitlin. This is a portfolio project. So this is going to be a pretty unfiltered review. Um, so a lot of first impressions, uh, just because I like doing reviews that way. So let's dive in. I like the little animation effect. Um, I like it. I wonder, like... I wonder, did these come together? Like this was down here and this was up here? That'd look interesting, hold on. Oh, I wonder if, I wonder how it'd look if like this kind of started down here, this started up here and they kind of joined. Um, but the, I like that animation. I felt like the sudden pop-in of the background image was, um, I don't know, abrupt, didn't like, it just looks like two animations that don't really go together. So I would kind of play around with that, maybe maybe kind of like a fade in of this um, that either happens during or I would almost put it after like these two pieces of text come together. Um, but either way, I like the green. Links are readable. I mean, it, it looks like a pretty minimal site. Um, you have your about projects, resume. I'm curious if this is, okay, cool. Just kind of a one page resume. All right. Awesome. Um, so anyways, I like the color scheme. I think I might lighten this image just a little bit, just because reading this text, um, on top of this dark green is a little, uh, rough with the contrast. But I like the very simple divider. I'm a full stack developer with a passion to, for the front end. I'm not gonna focus so much on the full amount of content, but this kind of just looks like, it talks about what, uh, I guess I should, I should focus on this. Um, this is important. I'm a full stack developer with a passion for the front end. Always striving to learn more and up my game. I'm drawn to logic problem solving. Uh, create, creating beautiful, approachable design. Approachable. Um, be I mean, a beautiful and approachable, like, I wonder if you could choose a different word, like maybe accessible. Uh, beautiful and approachable, to me, kind of seem like the same thing. We'll tap it in my experience as a business consultant to create the best product. Possible, I like that you're bringing your old experience and blending that into Makes you unique as a developer. That's good. I'm a current student at Thankful's full stack program. Adding to my toolkit. Um, what this should turn into. So I like how you describe yourself. What this should turn into is you kind of like, once you graduate, um, you're, in my opinion, you shouldn't be advertising yourself as kind of like a, a even a graduate of that program but more of a software engineer and then focus on the traits that you bring as a developer um, you're going to get some biased at some companies based on you being at a boot camp and maybe not having kind of like a full length of experience especially if that experience isn't on your resume um, i'm not going to take a look at your resume for this review but just something to keep in mind uh, when I'm not sitting in front of code, I'm a beer enthusiast, travel addict. Cool. I like it. Um, so you show a little personality here. Stack. So one thing to keep in mind is who's... Uh, actually, before I leave this section, um, I think center aligned text on a desktop. Um, you can get away with kind of not having it left aligned. Um, you don't really have a container to separate. I think your line height 
makes it more readable. If you ended up adding any more, I would almost, I wonder if I would reduce this amount of text. Um, like, I don't know, just something to think about. Um, center aligned text can be a little bit harder to read than left aligned text, text when you start getting like past three, four, five lines of kind of your about me. You kind of broke that up a little bit here. Um, but it is a pretty minimalist site, just having this. I don't know, I'd be curious to see how this looks left aligned or even putting it inside of a container, but um, I think get away with this with how little of text you have. Stack, uh, cool. Okay, so here, uh, one thing to keep in mind is who's your audience? So it's most likely gonna be a recruiter or a hiring manager or a developer taking a look at your portfolio or a senior developer, but on the technical side of things, if you have someone that is technical that recognizes, I actually don't even know what that is, um, that recognizes these symbols, that's great. But I would almost expect that most of your audience won't and I would just spell it out for them. Um, actually, what's the difference between what? I don't even recognize some of these logos, but like the, the stack is a pretty healthy thing to show out of your bootcamp, um, especially because a lot of bootcamps will have a few different technologies that you'll be able to showcase and uh, potentially have projects that encompass those. But I would actually spell it out like with, with words. Like you put the logo, the logo is good, keep the logo. Um, but I, I don't think the logos are enough. Um, and if you wanted to make it more accessible, that kind of solves that problem as well. All right, so your projects. In my opinion, your projects should have be, or should have been at the very top. I think your projects are the most important. Um, to this day, I very seldom hear that projects aren't gonna be one of your, one of the main things that employers or recruiters will look at um, when they visit your portfolio website. They're there to see your projects, see your work, and get a feel for your experience. And of course, a little bit of your personality. But um, yeah, I would push this to the top, uh, maybe even below this. Uh, view code, view project, I love it. Um, we're not gonna dive into these projects. Just focusing on the portfolio right now. Clean and simple note-taking app that is fully responsive, allows users to easily add notes and folders and keep their thoughts organized. So you're at a point where like, I, I came from a boot camp and I understand that boot camps are very rushed and the problems that you're solving aren't, they're usually made up problems. You're just very often kind of just design or building out a website to hone in on your skills, not actually putting something out there that you're gonna try to get a user base behind. But if you, any of these projects, you feel like they would be useful to users, they provide some sort of unique experience that they, that maybe other websites don't provide in, in kind of just like your own unique personalized way, that's something you could talk about. So being able to talk about the problem you solved and how it, it could impact your users, um, that's something that you could dive into a little bit. Kind of like a little bit of a mini case study. But either way, Bare minimum, you have a screenshot, view code, view project. I like it. What to wear? Okay, four projects. Check out the demo, view code. Get in touch. Um, where are these separated? Never mind, that's fine. I think it's just personal preference. I might have. You put a so you pretty much centered everything. Um, and that's probably gonna make this pretty responsive, which is fine. It doesn't really showcase any use of media queries, but maybe your projects do. Let's check out your mobile version. Um, God, I've been doing in Chrome tools for how long and I still can't remember how to put this here. No, elements. <laughs> How in the world do I make this vertical? That's what the rest of this video is gonna be about, me figuring this out. Um, 
Maybe I'm gonna give up on it? You gotta be kidding me, I'm gonna Google this. Chrome tools make... I always forget this too. I'm using a VPN, so of course my internet's gonna be a little bit slower too, that's nice. Uh, thank you. It literally was this. God, you gotta be kidding me. All right, I always forget every single time. Cool, we're there. All right, so uh, we're gonna check out the mobile version. Let's do a nice refresh. Sometimes JavaScript can affect it. Um, okay. Um, do you have media queries? Um, I'm just going to open up this just for a second. Do, do, do. You do. Okay. This just feels very small. The text feels very small. Um, I think you could definitely get away with left aligning the text here. 13. 13 is really small. I wouldn't go below 14. I usually encourage 16. Um, I think you could increase the text size a little bit. Um, links I'm not so concerned about. You kind of shoved everything onto one line. Um, something you might consider as a little bit of, or just something like a hamburger menu uh, might not make these links feel so crowded. But for now, like you have few enough links that aren't, they don't have long enough text where you can kind of get away with it. But either way, I would increase the font size with this. I would experiment with the left line, see how you like it, see how it looks. I think it's more readable. View code, view project. Buttons could be bigger. Um, keep in mind, like we have this kind of blown up, but your buttons feel very small to someone's finger. Um, I would increase the buttons, the, the size of the buttons. Overall, the text just feels small. Don't really have any clean dividers. I think you were doing it well with space before. Um, I don't. I don't know if I'd increase the space just a little bit, but it feels like you kind of have the same amount of space here as you do here, and I would expect more space to be here to signify that I'm looking at your next project. Um, I guess. I guess the mobile is a little bit close. Well, this feels a little better, I think. Wait, is that different? I feel like you have, you have different spacing. Um, feels like you have different spacing and it might just be the images. What? What's going on here? Check out the demo. View code. I like the actions. I like the actions with the text. So I get you making this a little bit longer, but you could definitely increase the, and I probably would, I would increase the height to match this. You're not going to give it a specific height, but play around with CSS and see what you could do with it. Um, then get in touch. Now I think these icons are a little bit more appropriately together. Just want to look at the animations of this projects. Um, I don't know if the navigation should increase in size. Um, when you actually select a link. What else? That's all I really have at the moment. Um, it's a, just to kind of recap, it's a pretty minimalist site. Uh, 
showcases your portfolio. I love that you have four projects. You show, you're showing the right things for the projects. I'm not gonna be nitpicky about how you're describing the projects or like what you should be talking about. Uh, but I think it's more important that you kind of bring your projects a little bit higher up. I think they're more relevant. Um, we talked about the tech stack. Uh, doo -doo -doo. This one, you get this like, you could probably look at some examples of nice little containers that will contain text a little bit. You kind of just have your text spanning all the way across your page, which can look a little messy and disorganized. Um, or maybe not, maybe not disorganized, just like you could do something a little extra with it. It's very weird to come all the way, like, yeah, it's very weird to go all the way to the end of a sentence and then come all the way, or come back to the middle to finish that sentence. The text just, it could be aligned a little bit differently. So I would, I would play around with that. Um, And I think anything else that I have to give, it would probably be like a biased, like my own personal preference. So I kind of want to exclude that. I think you have all the right things on your portfolio page. Um, I like the color scheme. I think you could like just with a little touch up, you could really make this animation um, catch someone's attention right away. Projects look good. Um, but overall, it looks like a very, uh, very clean design. So awesome job with this. I hope your boot camp's going well. And uh, of course, feel free to reach out if you have any questions. So, good job, Caitlin.